Yes, three pointers TV, myself to tease. We're back again outside the Emirates. It finished Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. What are we saying, man? How do, you, how do you feel about that result? I thought it finished Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2, but. Uh, yeah? <laughs> According to uh, Anthony Taylor, it was Arsenal to Liverpool too, so we have to run with that one. To but that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good he, one. He, he's the one who does the match reports and uh, draws it. Uh, that's what he said. So Mate. we have no say in the matter. Arteta can't question it. Us fans can't question it. The media, no one's allowed to question it. Otherwise, you get suspended and fined. Can I pause you right there? Leave your comments. Uh, yeah. let, let us know if you agree with, you know. All right, come on, let's go, let's All go. Right. Yeah, as as the game went, I thought it started with a better team and then. We scored the first goal nice and early, what we were trying to do, and then it just felt like we kind of sat back. And uh, I thought being on top of them, I, I, I do understand it, I do understand it. We had a sort of a makeshift back four. I wouldn't even say makeshift, it was worse than that. It was like a lockdown back four. A, we, had a, we had a lockdown back four. So I 100% understand why he wanted to sit back and protect the 1-0. Sorry. But I just don't think that's our way of playing. That's maybe 30 years ago, 1-0 to the Arsenal, that's our style, but in modern football, there's always more goals in a game. Mm. You can go 2 0 up and still lose the game. We've seen it over the weekend. We've seen yeah. it, you know, other league games this season. We could have nicked it though, innit, right? 100%. percent could have and should have nicked it. Um, mm. But yeah, it wasn't to be. And um, Bitterly disappointed or are you just mildly disappointed? <laughs> I say mildly. I wouldn't say bitterly because, you know, coming here with the mm. squad we had available, it was a last minute decision to play. Um, Saka and Timber. Mm. Um, with them, I felt so much more confident mm. that at least we'll get something out of the game. But I did come here wanting to win. Mm. And I felt like we were the better side of the two. Marginally, oh, yeah. marginally. I would agree. Would you agree? So Leave a comment. Maybe you could say a draw was a fair result, but I don't think anyone could say Liverpool were better. And yeah, I guess that's where the frustration comes from because yeah, we were better. Do you think so. there's still time for Arsenal to to really like chase that? Yeah, First spot. I think there's always time. I think until probably like end of Feb, March, it's anyone's game. Not anyone. I mean, we know Not there's anyone, enough but games, but I mean, well, yeah, games and time. <laughs> as long as we stay in touch and we don't fall away. Yeah. And um, I guess we slowed Liverpool down today, which is a positive. Mm. Man City need to be slowed down. But mm. really, there is Chelsea as well, but I don't think there's a lot of other Newcastle teams. Newcastle as well. Yeah, but again, They've still got to play a lot of the big ones. They've still got to play us. I think that's is that next game or the one after. I think we've got Newcastle, so we can slow them down. But I think I don't know. I I, I don't think the top four have, have sort of pushed away at all. Mm. But I don't think there's more than four teams in it. So as long right. as you stay in touch with those teams, there's there's always going to be that's time. It. That's it. And I mean, um, we we it's, it's it's clear that we have enough quality there. Let's talk yeah. about Martinelli as well because a lot of people are starting to really put the magnifying put glass on him, yeah. him, putting the pressure on him a little bit. He doesn't seem to, you know, have an end product to when he, you know, he get, you know, he finds that space, gets yeah. the ball, but then when it comes to the, the final third, you know, where it really counts, where he needs to get the ball in or even make it, you know, finish. I, just, uh, I think people are being a bit harsh on him because I think if he really has, you know, <laughs> dipped in form or anything, then Sterling would be playing. And the fact that he's keeping Sterling out of the squad and not out of the squad, but out of the starting lineup, and Sterling didn't even seem to be getting minutes. But it's just the key moments, up. right? I mean, his quality is 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 exceptional. Yeah, but it's of just course. it's just that final bit that we need the crucial part of his game. Of course, that I'd is want, not coming to fruition. I'd want more from him, of course. And I think we can say the same about Saka a few years ago. Saka had sort of the complete product, but his finishing wasn't quite there. And it's something he's worked on. So I'd love to see Martin Lilly work on that. But at the moment, what I'd say, until you could kind of bring me a name that's better or someone else is going to possibly Trossard. Trossard was needing a different position today. Yeah. But Martin is keeping him out of the squad, and, mm. and I think he offers so much more in terms of his pace and um, keeping the defenders on their toes and creating that space because he's pulling defenders out wide. And mm. it's, it's, still, it's similar to Havertz, it's still all around game with Martinelli that I think he still starts for me. Um, although his finishing isn't quite there, I'd like, that's, I'd like him to work on that individually for him to be the complete product and him to be a better player for himself. Um, in terms of what we need as Arsenal and our starting eleven, I would still stick with him. I still think he's, he's our best option. Fair and enough. I, I, it's a tough position there he's holding down. Yeah. It's a really tough position. I don't think Arteta's made a mistake. I think Arteta sees that it's his overall game rather than just his finishing. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the other players, the Trossards, the Sterlings, 
maybe could do a bit more of what Martinelli does to maybe get that starting spot. So yeah. I'm going to stick with Martinelli and I'm going to back him. And I think that it's a small tweak in his game yeah, that he, positive. he can, he can, he can do. He's capable of doing it. And I think that will benefit the squad massively. So cool. I back him. I cool. Back him. No, well said. And uh, G Gabriel, I mean, he's come off with a little niggle. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully we'll see him back. Hopefully it's not as serious as what it's probably made out to be. Hope it's just a niggle, but obviously it's the stage of the season where we, you know, we have a lot of games in a short space of time. So today mm, and then yeah, it's coming up to that period. Tuesday or Wednesday, we're at Preston. Yeah which ideally we would have won in four, mm -hmm. but Saliba's back, so I guess mm. that would just be a switcheroo there. But obviously it'd be nice to have, I don't think we would have played both anyway, right. but um, it was a complete makeshift back four today. I think we'd get away with it for Preston, but you know, I hope, hope it's not serious because we're going to need him for sort of Chelsea, Newcastle, those bigger games that are coming up, so. Yeah, man. Can get him. Thank you very much, man, for your input, man. That's it on the Free Boys TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the thing. We see you on the next one. Peace out.